Okay, so let's create the MPC and DPC methods and we go for local object and uh, in a couple of seconds we will see that the MPC DPC methods will be created and it is created and uh, what we have to do now is maintain the service or register the service and I will just register it as local object and then I will go to service maintenance and go to browser to see metadata now this is my service and you can see that we have two particular collection one is root root type and then you have nav child and child type so you could have guessed from this that we can go to two things we can see the data within the root cds and also by utilizing the association we can navigate to child cds and see the data before that i will just show you the metadata so in the metadata the detail of association are mentioned and you will be reading a lot of metadata to find more or details about the service you can see here that metadata is quite long compared to the service we created so we have created last time the service here with ddi if i go and look the metadata here then you will see that it's pretty small not much only one entity type detail is provided but here you will see a lot of details which also contain association set and um, navigation and here association now this association is from root to child you can use that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to the service definition home and uh, i will be getting the get entity set again i don't want to get all the data so i will be filtering this with top 10 and uh, this gives me entries or get entity set is working here and i can use this url and this time the key is your guid which is node key if you see our cds view the key here is in the root node key so not the sales order id so that's a different representation from a functional aspect you can change the use case but i'm more focused on technical aspect to show you so if i go into the get entity individual data also i can access by using the guid the node key and um, let's go back and from the url i'm going to test now if i'm able to access my child cds data so what i'm going to say top equal to 10 i will only restrict 10 records not all and uh, what i'm missing here is a dollar so dollar top equal to 10 and we have the child data as well and you can see that this is the sales order item level details you can see sales order item position data and also from the child series i can test my get entity single entity extraction and it also works fine so this is the advantage of using a reference to create service you will be able to use your association in your service as well one very important thing you have to understand association should be to a cds view not a standard above structure or table in that case it will throw an error and you will not be able to use your association so that is one thing you have to be careful about and um, one of the more things you can do is you can go for multiple standard cds view and you can look into it for example this is one of the standard cds view which will have a different level of association defined it will be a little more complicated you can see that there has been some association to different cds view and then these are the statement or the filtering criteria and um, you can see a lot of annotation here 
and annotation is something which we will be seeing in detail from next section and um, you can refer these examples when you are trying to learn and try to implement your own cases but the basic is that if you are using reference to be able to use association the other association too should be a cds view i'm repeating it multiple time because i have faced this multiple time that i would use association to a standard structure or table and my service will not have features to navigate to association okay so this was the two examples which we saw one is with the ddic and the other one with reference creating services from CDS view, we might have to write some CDS code, but not much complicated as well. Now in the next section, we will be starting with annotation. And once we have got little idea about annotation, I will be showing also how you can use annotation to expose a CDS view as OData service. And it will be very simple, very simple. And uh, with the help of annotation, we will be doing that so let's go in the next section where we will be understanding more about annotation because we have already been using annotation in a lot of places previously as well if you didn't recognize where then it will be an exciting section for you as well so let's catch up in the next section where we will look more about annotation in cds